Hey, Michael's on the way down as well. So I got some bad news. Um, DOJ approved the extended hours. And then this morning, um, denied it. So extended they, hours for what? Uh, lumber. <laughs> yep. They said, uh, that's a Blaine County thing. Which is, which is odd, uh, right? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know what, what, like what and why it's, it's, I don't think they have a, sem how do I put this? I, I think, um, IQ is, is, is pretty low, you know, um, because inherently Blaine would, if they, if Blaine County doesn't want people clocking in up north, that's their prerogative, right? Our legislation has nothing to do with that because processing is down here. They can still fucking adopt it. I, I genuinely, I... It is so fucking blatantly obvious that our shit is looked at as like from a different lens because there is no logical consistency with any decision being made and it's absolutely spawning from a level of brain damage I cannot care to explain. Yeah. I <laughs> That lumber is just one of those jobs that's just forever gonna be the most painful, mindless bullshit. Yeah, that you can do, and that's yeah, that's just one thing that old. So just have to eat, I guess. Cause, yeah, I mean, to this day, right? To this day, even since the election, since you got elected, since Andy got elected, Andy has not once reached out to me asking me anything about about lumber or anything that could help us yeah and honest to god i'll be honest with you i took it as a like huge slap in the face and a sign of disrespect because i did nothing but help her i gave her free furniture we made almost one hundred and fifty thousand worth of furniture and gave it to her so she could use it for her events she gave it back but at the same time like we went out of our way to help her you would think at some point you know with you know her being in the position that she's in that she would at least reach out and be like, hey, what can we do for you guys yeah. to help with lumber? I mean, you're not even in Blaine County and you've done it. Yeah. So uh, it's one of those things. I don't think that lumber is ever going to be uh, a prospering thing unless people like myself or Michael right here or Sebastian just fucking bite the bullet and do the hard labor that is lumber. Hey, Corolla. Uh, but I got, I got the numbers for the Mopec stuff. If, if we do 20% you know, and we, I kind of base it on an average of they do 51 across a day. Yeah. Um, 20%. Boy, let's that. pause for Michael. Cause I want him to hear this okay. too. Oh, okay. Yeah. It just kind of annoys me. Cause it's like, you know going back to this thing is like bro there's like a new ass hatted like reasoning and it, it's never based on logical consistency you know what i mean by that right like yeah there is no like singular lens that's being looked at there's always some like new bullshit so And if you were to like tie all the all the all all of it together, right, you you now it, 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 none of it's gonna make any sense. Like I I don't know. It's just so fucking annoying. Like um, it's a headache. To, it's a to headache. Keep up with. You, you can't keep up to it with it because there's no consistency to it. <laughs> I don't know what I just, the, I, let me look at I this again. I, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you exactly what it says. I just didn't know using brains was as hard as it's <laughs> bro. It's, it's, it's actually scary. Um, Hey, 
Corolla reviewed the fishing legislation. She wants to know if we can add a clause in about, you know, baby, being able to shoot a shark in the head if it tries to bite your boat or something. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think we should do that. So it says, on further review, the San Andreas Department of Justice has determined that the Los Santos County Mayor has no jurisdiction over a profession that is based in and funded by the Blaine County Legislative Authority. Right. While certain portions of a job may be performed in Los Santos County and the mayor has full authority of legislation, the, the legislature, wait, what the fuck? That's, wait, while certain portions of a job may be performed in Los Santos County and the mayor has full authority to legislate the steps in his jurisdiction, the profession and lumber yard are based in Blaine County jurisdiction and remain under their authority. But our act literally is underlining that you can work in Los Santos County doing lumber. Yeah. So well, I mean, like, the most critical step in the process happens in Los Santos County. Yes, exactly. So I think we have to reapproach it separately. And I think Wyatt, you should be present. I'm done. Because I think I want to understand what, okay. So let's say nighttime happens. Can you not process mm -hmm. down here? If you're not signed in and have an active job, you don't receive another job until 6 a.m. And then the, the machines start working. If it's like San, or sorry, it's like mechanics. If you're actively signed in, yeah, uh, and it's also like sanitation. You need an active job from Axel at the lumberyard. Then the machines work all 24 hours a day. If you but have the job, jobs, can you process at night? Yeah. Okay. But so but we the mm -hmm. jobs expire after two hours. So if it expires at four in the morning, you got to wait two hours before you can start using the equipment. And the problem is, if it expires and you have wood in the equipment, the equipment just eats your wood. It's gone. Oh my god. Yeah. It's just so fucking frustrating. Cause yeah. like this would pass and then they would adopt it. So like yeah. I, I don't Okay. Let's let this extended go through and then if we have an opportunity, we need to understand like what fucking logic and and I was just telling Wyatt the annoying mm -hmm. thing about it is they have it's like Angel's putting pulling new shit out of her ass each and every time she makes a decision. So yeah. there's no logical consistency to anything. So yeah. whatever yeah. happened to remember the fucking hunting shit mm -hmm. that was passed. So where does that fly? Why wasn't this brought up? Yeah. But now yeah. this decision and then what happened with you write the legislation and then they decide to adopt it. Isn't that what's supposed to happen here? You write the legislation, then they adopt it. If if Andy does not adopt this legis if she if we had lumber in here, she mm -hmm. decided not to adopt it, then you wouldn't be able to sign in anyways. That doesn't right. fucking change anything. Yeah, exactly. So why where I swear to God, I sw she she finds dumb shit each and every time. There's no fucking yeah. consistency. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, it's, it's a really weird hill to die on. Like I said, especially wait, this one. That means G6. So where does, wait, where does G6 fit in then? Right. Cause they, they deliver to Blaine County. Yeah. So but do I we mean, have full jurisdiction now over like the defending themselves? Cause I heard, I was told the opposite. <gasps> oh yeah. my God. And she responded in it. Hold on. Holy fuck. Wait, hold on. Pause. And a Andy just posted wheel clamp legislation. I saw. Uh, it seems like that's a little bit out of her jurisdiction, seeing as the tow yards down in Los Santos what County. What is what is happening? <laughs> Well, you know what I'm thinking is is licenses are issued by county clerks within Los San Santos County. So do we have jurisdiction over the issuing of licenses? I, I'm yeah. so, I'm so confused. I'm just saying. Like where where are these rules? Like it's like a new new shit every time. Okay, 
We'll we'll look at that. We'll look at that in a second. Hold on. Let me see what the G61 said. So wait. So if there's control over how Los Santos lumber works down here, then mm. do we have all the tow locations and all the banks up north? I mean, you know, like based off what she's saying, if if what she's saying is law or at, or at minimum precedent, then my answer is yes. Sorry, just give me one sec. I'm trying to look up. Where is the... Oh, Blockade Act. Wait, I had to put... Wait, what the fuck? I... Did she... She called me about this and that's why I updated it and I had to make a clause. This legislation is only applicable in Los Santos County. And in that call, she said we cannot because G6 operates up north. We can't. This has to be explicit to Los Santos County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then that one says that. So, okay, let's open up this clamp shit. Yeah, because it mentions when the vehicle item being clamped is marked by tow or carrying out by contacted tow duties, whether through the local tow dispatcher or private, I mean, uh, that job functions down here. Yep. So, to be honest, like, do it, it you would think show... Angel is thinking we're talking about just sign in? Probably. And that's yeah. how she's making that decision instead of being like, I don't know what this means. Are you. I think there's just too much fucking assumption bullshit that's taking well, that's, place that's like, like how are you deciding something is constitutional or unconstitutional without even understanding it that's my issue you can't just say i don't understand this so it's unconstitutional you make a fucking like phone no call. attempt for dialogue exactly i think we just need to give her a call and be like are you good <laughs> yeah yeah is everything okay who hurt you um so there are two instances when the use of it, it, let's fuck man um we gotta tackle this maybe we tackle this after the tsunami and try to get a understanding exactly what's happening here i low-key uh think that when we start pressing these issues it's going to be seen not as um us trying to understand what the fuck they're doing but when there there is when we start pressing these issues to understand how what the fuck is going on it, it we're, we, i have a we're strong the bad guys <laughs> yeah yeah i know i know like because the thing is but, the, 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 these are these are going to be clarifying oh my lord have mercy yeah oh my god okay let's uh let's handle mopec first sure all right so at 50 which is i mm -hmm. think a, a good number of one acrosses that these shops do a day if they do more they do yep. more if they do less they do less but at 50 that's forty nine thousand materials a week mm -hmm. 20 percent of that's 9800 so i mean we could probably get away with these mechanic shops getting about ten thousand materials a week and then we can probably do depending on how many shops there is how many has been approved? 
so far. Thank you. Uh, e yeah, so we have the two Corolla existing. VDM. Sorry, what what was it? It's Lovemore Corolla VDM plus the two existing. So I think we have five. Did Corollas just get approved? It did. Yeah, just talking. Good. And yeah. did they get bank accounts? They did. Okay, perfect. Same with, with, with Mike Manx and, and company from yesterday. Easy. Or the day before, whenever it was. Yeah. So I guess the easiest way to do it is just get enough to where they can get around 10,000. I think the way to do it, because I need to, Wyatt, is I need to know the numbers incoming and outcoming, right? Uh -huh. So that if anyone asks me, this is going to be the biggest. For a week. Well, so I'm going to, the way that I want to handle it so that uh -huh. I always have the answer if I'm pressed on it, because Mopec is the bullshit that the reason it originally was getting kicked back is you had these like fucking, uh, Two fucking IQ Andes being like, yo, what if you illegally use it for like moving funds around, right? If someone says, how much are you moving? I need that answer right away. So I think the way we do this is you say, we say, you say, I need another 100K, boom. We need to move it to 150. I just say yes. You know what I mean? And we either do it, you give me a phone call, you send me an email. And we do this for the short term. So while it's, 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 we're getting to the right place. I always know what the number is. So I can handle the politics, uh, ad hoc. Okay. Does that and work? Then, yeah. So All right. I guess in terms of distribution to these shops, you we just gather the numbers of what they do average a week and then base it off that, or you want me to just be like, how much do you need? Because if I do how much they need, they're probably going to want. Uh, sorry, say again. Okay, let me let me back up because I think I'm confusing myself. Yep, yep, yep. My mind's running a million things. No, 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 no. Um, you're good. You're good. Okay, so contact you about the amount needed per week for the reserve, right? Hold on. I can't get this lumber shit out of my head. I'm calling it. Hello. Hey, Angel. How you doing? Um, are you going to be around after the tsunami? Yes, I will be. All right, easy. I got Wyatt here. Um, we wanted to talk about the um, get an understanding about the uh expanded hours legislation uh okay. we were just discussing it right now and we're looking at the response to it and um we wanted to uh, go over that because we, now we okay. got a little bit of confusion between this one and some of the other things that are passed so okay sure thing yeah we can uh we can meet up and talk after some then okay easy talk to you then okay all right, all right. Bye. Bye. all right after storm let's meet up with her because um i'll be yeah, done i think we need like clear what the fuck is this uh kind of thing um and then let's talk about mopec right after there wyatt gives you a second to do right. that let's line up the questions um i think the first is number one what was the reason for it being denied given the fact that the majority of the processing is happening down south. The second question is, why is it inherently denied when it's written in a fashion where Andy can also approve this? And her approval or denial of it fundamentally is allows the, uh, you know, um, allows for the, uh, um is a sole decision on the sign in and sign out anyways right number three this legislation is saying that they can choose the fucking process down here right and so so we need to understand that and then i think the next question is michael could you write this down actually just so while i'm on this ebb flow yeah yeah okay let me know when you're ready Okay, so number one, 
what was the reason why it was de denied we see the response but we're trying to understand more in depth what this is supposed to mean on your next point about the majority of the processing to be clear it's the final step there's a, there's six steps in process or in the process in total yep. yeah, it's the only the final step it, it's only the final one happens here but that's where you determine what the quality of your plank is it's it's yep. unusable without our processing step okay and to be clear right the um if nighttime comes all the lumber disappears if you have lumber in the equipment, nighttime comes and your job ends, your two hour job ends, yeah. you cannot get a new job and the lumber that was in the equipment disappears. Yeah. And that is what we are trying to solve. And exactly. this is, this has nothing to do with whatever the fuck is happening in Blaine County. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's the second question, right? So the first is clarify what is happening. Number two, it's that number three is why would we not write legislation like this because it is still up to blaine county to decide whether or not to adopt it number four what is the difference between this legislation and the g6 legislation where we had to put in a clause stating that it was only g6 what is the fundamental difference why this had to change why g6 had to change but it where where because some of g6 jobs are up north but here we had to exclude it right can, can we extend that out to say uh what's different between this and the recently introduced toll legislation as well because the, the exact same situation right where you, you explain sign in you sign in in los santos county you drop off vehicles in Los Santos County, and sometimes you go and pick up vehicles in Blaine County. It's effectively the same thing as lumber. So how come she can establish legislation to dictate what tow can and can't do? Correct. Yeah. What is like, what, how are, what are, what fundamentally we're asking, what is the determining factors here? We need to be, I think, generally prepared for pushback because this is, there is no logic. I don't think we need, I don't think we should approach this with any kind of hostility, despite the fact that there's clearly, um, you know, logical uh, inconsistencies. Uh, anything else? Not at all. No, no, I think that's it. Wait a minute. Um, should we bring up the hunting problem? About uh what hunt hunting not currently occurring in the county yeah let me bring it up let me see which one it was let's also ask what is a county clerk now who is the authority over county clerks? Because if it's a county county clerk, shouldn't we hire them? You would think so. Yeah. the hunting registration it says hunting is only permitted 
within the non-residential areas of Blaine County. Okay, I mean, that's not a... Um, Let's ignore the hunting one for now. That's a that's a can, whole nother beast, I think. Can of worms, yeah. Yeah. All right, easy. Did y'all have a good weekend? Hmm? Did y'all have a good weekend? Oh, I've been busy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, last couple of days. Yeah, I've not, I've not been around at all. Yeah, it's a lot of, um, you know. Where you been, Wyatt? Why don't you enlighten us? <laughs> Back home. Came yeah. to my attention last night, though, that I apparently have to fire a few people, so that'll be fun. What? Who? Yeah, it's just people that's not been around. As long as it's not Tweety, I don't really care. Yeah. Uh, Tweety is the shadow leader. Be honest. <laughs> oh, uh, another note, Michael. We should make a music legislation for funding musicians directly. So I'm going to I'm going to do that, and I'm going to structure it exactly like I did the event proposal one with Ava and Arthur. Easy, where it's like a subsidy program. Okay. Uh. I'm, I've also got the the government expenditure transparency one. The one question I wanted to ask you was, should a FOIA be required for someone to request information on how you take money out of the bank account and spend it? No, like with, with, I don't give a Moldec, fuck. For Let, instance, yeah, let's, yeah. No, no, let's get it up. Like, let's just put it out there. Yeah, I agree. That's and that that's what I have in there. Like. Uh, the Los Santos County Mayor's Office can optionally offer this information. Oh, by the way, the website's still sources. the website's still down. By the way, after the yeah, restart, is it? Yeah, so there might be something else going on. Yeah, I did a. This, this happened I did last a time. You, hot reboot. You're, yeah, remember when I uh, I had to change the actual template of the site and it deleted a whole bunch of files and put up a whole bunch of new ones. And it yep. went down. It's the exact same thing. I, I pulled a plugin off the site and put a new one back up, and that's when it crashed. So you think it's something that is in the inside of it? it uh, should I try rebooting it one more time, or are you think? Yeah, I, I I would do a hard reboot. Yeah, I did it once. I'm gonna do it again right now. Yeah. Man, we've been fucking cooking. So Tessa had some. We we got moose knuckles shit sorted. Yeah, moose is sorted. Yeah. Tessa wants to chat about some stuff. She may not be open to hunting in general, which you know it is what it is. But yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but. Oh, I did. I'm going to send the tax and penis right now. 